Yeah, hi, welcome. Let's talk about uh, the future of mortgage advising. Lots of people talk to me about this. Lots of people are getting really quite worried. So I'm going to call this uh, particular video AI right now. A bit like the commercial on the telly, isn't it? AO, AO. AI right now. <clears throat> and we're talking here about mortgage advising or financial advising here, but mostly mortgage advising. What I want to show with you really is that the future is already here. Now, last night I was watching TV. I watched uh, Manchester United in the Champions League, which was a pretty, pretty good result um, if you're an English supporter. Um, mo most people are. That's good news. You might hate Man United, but, but they did pretty well. Now, I was watching TV, and there's an advert came on um, during the TV uh, programming, and it was advertising a mortgage. And it was advertising a company called Trussell. You may have heard of them. Uh, it had a lovely little ring to it. It said, uh, Trussell, what's Trussell all about, Russell? Russell, you don't need to move a muscle. <laughs> I thought it was really quite cool. Russell, you don't need to move a muscle. And the whole point of Trussell is that you don't need to move a muscle. You go online with your app or tablet or whatever, and you apply for your mortgage or you do a remortgage, whatever it is, and you can do it without even talking to anybody. It's all AI. It's it's artificial intelligence that, that controls it, that runs it. There's people behind the scenes and they give you access to over 90 mortgage lenders, which is not bad at all, is that? So you've heard of AI. It's all in the news. It's affecting everything as well. But it's already here. We know that. We know that indeed. I mean, last night I was traveling back from Manchester on the train. I was listening to Spotify. Spotify was recommending music for me. Their AI engine was trawling their millions of songs for me to enjoy, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, this morning I was buying some things on Amazon. Amazon suggests other things that other people bought. There's AI there as well. Um, I ordered my groceries last night from Tesco's and just before I was pressing the button to pay, they suggested that I normally order this, why don't I order it again? It's, it's, it's artificial intelligence working. Okay, it's pretty mundane, but it's working really well. Last night after football, we put Netflix on and Netflix recommended a movie for me based upon my tastes and my desires. And Netflix are now linking themselves to Facebook and other social media because they know exactly what my, my sort of hobbies are. And this morning I asked Alexa to program my diary and remind me of an appointment. Alexa, of course, is Amazon's Echo Dot. And I think I've just said her name and Alexa's come up on the system, as you can see. Should we say hi to Alexa? Hi, Alexa. Alexa? Alexa? Good morning to you. Good morning. See, she talks and it's artificial intelligence all the time. Um, the sat nav will take me places and redirect me according to traffic situations that are going on. It's there. Now, the point I'm making here is in the mortgage world, which we're talking here about here, in the mortgage world, AI is already here. And my message really is that if you are worried about AI and mortgages, you don't need to be because it's already here. You just need to embrace it, use it, make it work for you. Now, maps haven't been replaced by sat-nav. I have a map book in my car in case of emergencies. I know a lot of uh, younger people don't. Now, there's, uh, there's six things I want to talk to you about with the mortgage side of things. Um, we'll, go, we'll go with the sales process, really, because that uh, kind of gives us a nice kind of structure to work with. Now, the sales process when you're selling mortgages is prospect, fact find, recommend, suitability, reason wise, all those things all around. That's where it goes around. So let's take a look at some of these along the way. Now the first one I want to talk about is the mortgage application itself and that's credit scoring. Now credit scoring is massively AI'd already, whether you know it or not. AI controls the ability of to, to lenders to go on to the credit scoring people and to access details about your customer's credit. Now Experian, Equifax, we know about these companies. Um, many of them link straight to lenders now, so they don't even have to sort of log on. They're already talking to Experian all the time. Experian has records of all of your credit going back years. They know when you've defaulted, etc. And they know themselves whether it's going to be acceptable for you to borrow or not. Now, mainstream banks and uh, automated banks like Trussell tend to use good credit scores in order to lend their good, their good products. Mainstream banks, for example, will have low, very low rates. They're only available to people who have a, a 500 plus credit score, which is understandable really when it comes to it. Um, so credit scoring is massively AI'd already. Um, further up the way there, you've got product selection. Now, when you're uh, fact finding and talking to the customer, you're going to be selecting the, the mortgage product. Now, up until now, we've had pretty, pretty mundane selection tools, really. I remember back in the 80s when I worked at the Pru, we had a thing called the mortgage selection system. 
and you key in the customer's salary and stuff like that, you know. And he just gave up a whole list of lenders. It wasn't very intelligent, it was all very basic really, but it worked, it worked. It showed the customer all the logos, you know. Obviously things have come on tremendously since then, and we have Mortgage Brain and many others. Now I heard in the news this morning, the Mortgage Brain have now bought Criteria Hub, You've got 27 tech, all these different criteria-based search engines now that don't just look at rates and multiples of income. It looks at criteria, so self-employed, um, owner-director, um, expats, um, buy-to-let. You put in criteria now, and it's getting very intelligent in that it'll actually search the right lender for you. And it's not just a basic database, it's actually artificial intelligence working on your part. And you'll find in the future that these automated lenders will just use these things. It will just, you know, you'll cap tap in your details and the automated lender will then have an API which links to the credit search company. And that's how they'll get their lenders. There's no, you don't need a person involved in that. In fact, if I'm honest with you, that's a pretty dull part of the mortgage advising process, selecting the product uh, um, provider. Unless, of course, it's... A more of a complicated case where you have to get on the phone to the, the, the business to develop manager and maybe put a case to them. But the modern product selection apps will be able to do a lot of the exceptional reporting for you moving forward as well. Um, the other thing as well is prospecting and connecting with clients. Now, connecting with clients is something that you're going to be using AI with. Now, many of us are, have used Skype or FaceTime on our phones as well, of course. And this is something that uh, you should be embracing. Don't just have a face-to-face -face meeting with clients every time. Telephone's fine. But a good video-based uh, meeting with a client is absolutely essential nowadays. Um, okay, on a tablet or a big PC screen. But make sure you learn how to communicate to video. Get some lessons on that as well. Again, is that AI? Not really, but it's modern communication techniques that work really well. Um, the social media link, of course, is artificial intelligence. That's coming in big time now, where you can link in with your customers. Now, on the subject of uh, client acquisition, let's put it up there for you. Client acquisition, which is the post... Uh, post term for prospecting. You're going to have to have new clients, of course you are. You'll die unless you get new business. Many mortgage advisors get so wrapped up in, in getting uh, competent advisor status and passing their Zmap, they forget they've got to have some sales skills to get some clients in the first place. Now, client acquisition is basically um, database marketing nowadays. You could use AI. Google have got the Google AdWords where you could use that to obtain people. You could use artificial intelligence in the form of leads from the internet as well. It's all AI coming through and you're embracing that. Of course, social media is massive when it comes to obtaining leads from the internet for potential clients as well. Um, a couple other ones for you. At the back end there, I'll put in CPD, self-development. Uh, the really important part, you should spend a day a week on self-development and CPD. Okay, there's different hours that different regulators have, but you should spend a day a week. You're selling your brain. Um, and don't forget, artificial intelligence will take care of much of the mundane stuff you don't need a brain for. Your brain is going to be used for many different things in the future, so enhance it, learn. Now, I read about the PFS, which is the... Uh, a personal Finance Society, part of the CII, they have this uh, uh, thing called the study stream now where they look at you, your background, and their artificial intelligence works out a study stream. It curates content from the internet, videos and things, for you to, to consume. Uh, they're using intelligence now to make your studying a lot, lot easier. The CII have got a great website now. They're moving forward on that. But they're spending a lot of money on curated uh, learning content that you can obtain and put in your details and the AI in, in, the, in, the, in the engine will, will tell you what you need to learn and what you want to learn. It'll be like the Amazon thing, you know. Uh, people like you, Paul, watched this video last night and learned this. Would you like to watch the same thing? It's happening now, so make the most of it as well. And the last one for you, um, this is something that many mortgage advisors love. That's the good old suitability report or suitability letter, call it what you like nowadays. Now, suitability reports are pretty boring thing to do, let's be honest. But they've got to be done. And um, you've got decent software now that does them properly. Not just templated PowerPoint or Word files you know, with templates that sound awful, but proper wording, proper descriptions now that tell the customer why they've obtained this mortgage, what was the benefits, why have you discounted this, that and the other. And it links in, of course, to your product selection tool and your fact-finding tool, it all links in. And you'll have a decent letter that actually makes sense, that uses the client's language as well. 
um, this, this uh, model that works on the suitability report will talk to the social media of the clients. They know the kind of person they are. They can, they can adapt the language of the suitability report. You'll find that that is already um, artificially intelligent and getting even better. So what's, what's my point behind this short video, really? The point really is don't get worried about it. Um, okay, if you, if you forget it completely and put your head under a pillow, then yeah, you will be worried about it because you'll lose your work. If you just do basic mortgages, um, you won't have a work anymore. You won't have a job anymore. Um, the big banks, for example, the mainstream lenders, they have got tons of money they're pumping into this and they will just have the ability to obtain a mortgage. As long as it's mainstream, you'll do it automatically. People in banks selling mortgages are a thing of the past. Sorry, but they are. Branches are closing left, right and centre. However, if you want to give the client you know, a, a really good service, it's the communication side of things, which you can do using um, Skype and stuff like that. You don't have to be face to face. But the point I'm making is embrace the technology, use it, buy it, obtain the licensing for software, use it in your business and save yourself time. I mean, yesterday, for example, um, I, I, I was looking at, uh, at getting um, an update to some insurance. It, it, I did it in a minute. Um, I had to buy um, a little knob for my cooker hob, whereas years ago I'd have gone down the shop, spent years finding it, searching it. Today I just Googled it, came up and bought it. There's so many things you can save you time, and that gives you time then to spend with customers, dealing with more complex cases, the later life market maybe, the buy-to-let market, the expatriate market. I mean, there's three million uh, British dudes living abroad. You know, there's all sorts of things that you could use, rather than the basic um, terrace house, 70% loan to value, you know, there's things you can do because artificial intelligence will take care of a lot of that. So I hope that's uh, made you feel good about the future. I'm excited about the future. Crikey, if you don't embrace it, there's nothing nothing worse really, is it? And uh, what was the Trussell advert? Uh, Russell, you don't have to move a muscle. Really clever stuff. Well done to Trussell. Speak to you soon. Bye.